And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire to fly. We used to rap like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go straight right in. Let's go right in. Let's go right in. So, 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 so. Let's get to it. You know what I'm saying? It's been a couple days. I hope everybody's been good. Be back with my man Showtime SP tonight. You know, we got some things to talk about, some recaps to do, etc., etc., etc. So, uh, 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 um, Young Ill. And, um, you know, Young Ill, salute to him and everything that he does, personally and professionally. Uh, you know, he's been a little bit active back in the ring. He battled John John the Don. Street status. Street status. It's been about two months or so now. Look, look, look. look. We, we need some battles. You had Oops versus Twerk. You had John John versus Young Ill. Can we get the content, please? Like, who who is the creative director over there? I don't know what's going on with the film, what's going on with the editing. But we need these battles, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me holla at y'all for a second. Get the content out. We need the battle. So, um, Young L, who's never been one to hold his words, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people was thinking that he was supposed to be battling soon, and a battle announcement really never came out when it comes to Young L, as far as on um, Ultimate Rap League, you know what I mean? They had Genesis coming out. They got all these cards, app this, app that, app this, app that. And people want to know what's going on with Young L. Why isn't Young L's name being called? Why is it? What's happening? So... Young Ill never been one to hold his words back since he's been back active. Since he's been back active, he had Twitter lit for a couple weeks. You know, the way he disses people, the way he be talking and all that and all that. So, what are we talking about? So, he says, Young Ill, 314, he talks about the Tay Rock battle and what was going on with it. A lot of people heard he was supposed to be battling Tay Rock. Obviously, Tay Rock had a situation going on where he was robbed not too long ago. He's actually been talking about that himself. He's got some things coming out where he's going to talk about the situation, and we'll talk about that in a few seconds. So, Young Hill said, signed a contract for Tay Rock gay ass with 30-day notice, then the next day them fake ass metal medallion chains stolen, so they tell me they need to make sure his head in the right place like I give a fuck. No deposit received, no call back, saying that he never got a call back. He never received a deposit. A lot of people heard that he was supposed to be battling against Tay Rock, and a lot of people were advocating it, myself being one, saying, yo, Young Ill is going so hard at Rock right now, no homo. He's going at him crazy. Like, he was posting videos, he was talking crazy, he was doing everything as far as promotion-wise for a battle. When you see, battle rap is like wrestling nowadays. When you see somebody going extra with the promotion, more than likely, they're going to battle. They're, they're, they're either set up for battling or they're, they're going to be battling soon. Because, like, a lot of folks don't really promote unless they have a battle coming. I mean, now, some of the, the younger cats will advocate. Now, that's different. When you're advocating for a battle, you start talking, you start taking shots at veterans and things like that. Sometimes it's cool, but a lot of the times these guys haven't even really had no experience. They ain't really even out there like that. And often, it's somebody from a higher level putting a battery in their back, telling them to do it. Yeah, 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 do this, do this, do this. I've been around this for a while, so I know people put batteries in people's backs. Get them the battles, then they jump out there and then die, and then guess what? The same people that put the battery in your back, take it right back out, put you on the shelf, and now they're putting the battery in somebody else's back. So young guys, make sure that you take care of your career, because these folks will tell you to do things that, they will give you advice and tell you to do things that you shouldn't be doing. Then when you do it, they don't even want to rock with you no more. But that's a different story. So, Young Ill went on to talk about, 2019, I signed a contract to battle Chess and he got booked versus Danny. No deposit received. 2019, I signed a contract for Bill Collector for the Verb versus DNA event and never received a call after. No deposit received. Book John John battle with O and it went smooth as hell. Now, the truth has three sides. Their side, your side, and the actual truth. Obviously, Young Ill is stating that he's been he's supposedly supposed to be having battles and they never happen. Knowing Bill Collector, speaking to him, I, I've heard rumblings if he was telling me that him and Ill was supposed to battle or whatever the case may be. So I don't know where that went or what happened with it, but I know that the um Bill Collector was another thing that was supposed to be happening. Now as far as him and Rock go, it's almost like 
they should battle like now like I, I feel like they should be battling because they've talked he's talked so much to him and the other one they've gone back and forth for a while and plus the styles and like they're building up this this battle you know what I'm saying and um I said like I said earlier I said uh Tay Rock who um was robbed last month for his jewelry has been coming out and been speaking about it you know he's making music It looks like he's starting to control the narrative or, or going to try to control the narrative as far as his situation went. When it happened, I really didn't speak much on it because I didn't know all of the intricate details and all of that. And it seemed like to me that the folks who actually had the jury weren't the ones who took it. So I was looking at it like, if you're not the one who's taking it, but you're trying to receive clout off of it, I really can't. I'm not going to give you that platform because you didn't actually do it. Now, if the ones who actually did it, was, that'd be a different story. But you can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't uh, go rob a jewelry store and then give the jewelry to my man. And then my man is like, oh, yeah, look what I did. Look what I did. It, it's more like, it was more like a clout thing. But I mean, from the looks of things, Tay Rock got his chain back or chains back. And um, now he's making music about it, you know what I'm saying? He looks like he's trying to control his own narrative. And he's um, he should be having visuals and music coming out soon about it, you know what I mean? Um, when it comes to those type of situations, it's not really like battle rap thing. So like with me, I try to keep my content strictly driven towards battle rap and rapping. Because I know that I have a wide range of people from very older folks to very younger folks that are still in high school. And some folks that are even younger than that that watch this content and you got to kind of like watch the message that you're putting out there as far as like what goes on in the streets and all of this and that you know what I mean so and plus when you when you're dealing with YouTube YouTube is a very very sensitive um, stream of social media like if you talking about certain things and you get to get to get to get the cussing and wilding out they'll flag your video or take your content down so I try to keep strictly battles and battle rap but um young ill you know like I said, he's never been one to hold his words back, and you know he's never been one to um, shy away from keeping it as real as he possibly can as far as situation goes. He's saying he signed his contract for Tay Rock. You know, I heard the same thing. I heard, I heard the same thing that there was supposed to be a battle between him and Tay Rock. And he said, Tay Rock. Uh, they said, they said they need to see if his head was in the right place. Young Ill says, I don't really give a f about that. I know I didn't get a deposit, so we didn't get a battle. Now, when it comes to Tay Rock, I heard Tay Rock is going to be battling again soon. He's got Swamp. I seen the little trailer for the Swamp battle. Um, it's re-being put out. It's re-being established, so it looks like that battle is still going to happen on um, March 29th in Baltimore. And, um, you know, that should be a good look. I heard it's just a one-rounder, so, you know. But Rock has had good one-rounders before. He's had the one-rounder with um, bad news. And he's had some other one-rounders. So I'm sure this will be another one of um, those good one-rounders. Um, Rock has obviously got some things he's going to have to address in his battles. He knows the He's going to have to know the angles is coming. He's going to have to know people are going to be talking about him. And, I mean, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, he hopefully he, um, he overcomes whatever situations that he's going through. And, um, you know, Young Ill... On the other hand, I would still like to see him versus Young Ill. Uh, Young Ill is a talent. Obviously took some time off, you know, got his life together, and he came back. He battled against Briz Rothstein. Another person who I would like to see back. I personally think that when it comes to the Briz Rothstein, he's taken way too long out the game, and I understand that he might have felt the way when it came to whatever situation happened between him, Mook, and the whole thing. But when you look at it, T-Top was up there with you. T-Top has battled a number of times since then, and life goes on, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you go through something to get through something, you know what I'm saying? When, it, when you you go through something to get to something, you know what I'm saying? Like, it happened, you, you're going to battle somebody, you're going to face the angle a couple of times, you're going to face the angle a bunch of times. Math still faces angles.
Danny Myers still hits about 12K damn near 12 years later. It's gonna be what it is. But um, salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, you know what I'm saying? I hope everybody um, puts their best foot forward, goes out and has a productive week and does everything that they can to make their personal lives better. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, was, I was told some good advice. If the people around you are not people that are helping benefit you, not in an opportunistic way, but if people around you are not helping benefit you and not helping you grow and become a better you, then you might want to change the folks that are around you because often you are a reflection of the folks that you stand or hang or sit or ride with every single day. Um, if you hang around five broke people, you're probably going to be the sixth broke person. If you hang around people who are not really thinking about doing things in a positive manner that you probably are too. Now, um, what I will say is that it's, it starts with yourself, you know. Sometimes you might have to leave people without even announcing that you're leaving people. Sometimes your presence should be the present. And if, you know, people are not valuing what you bring to their lives, then you might want to remove yourself and say, you know what, maybe I should stop hanging out. Sometimes it's best to chill by yourself. You know, you find the best. Sometimes you will learn and do more things on your own. Like, you know what? Hey, there's businesses that you want to start. Some people want to start going back to the gym. Some people want to start going to school. Just do it. You know what I mean? Um, we, we all have one life to live. You've got to make this life that you're living the best life that you possibly can. But anyway, I'll be back later with my guy Showtime SP. We got recaps. We got things to talk about. Um, like I said, I was out all weekend. Um, you know, living the best life that I could possibly live. But other than that, you already know we're doing what it does, so you ain't gotta ask what it was. RiceGang.myshopify.com. We'll start getting the rest of the orders of the clothing out. These are new orders. It's about 20 something new orders that came through. We'll make sure that we get them out, and we'll probably get this uh, little penny joint out there too. Why not? Oh, yeah, and salute to everybody who um, shouted out the new intro and all of that. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to elevate. You know, you gotta elevate to separate. You dig? One. Cuz said I get your chain back, just tell me who to move on I told cuz fuck them chains, I wanna see they tombstones My mans got robbed, shit was fucking with his pride He went at who robbed him, got shot in the neck Then he died, my other man got robbed, shot in the head He survived, but the nigga that robbed him dead My man got 25, both of them could be me It'd be hard for me to decide Two kids and my daughters need me alive my K piece of gift, but cursed me when it came out the lab. I don't want the chains back. They could have that shit that they grabbed. If they give them back, there's no longer the same chains I had. But shit, my jewel is my man. New chains back for half. Fuck a chain, I got respect. I won't trade that for cash. They thought they could stop me. I only came back to laugh. Fam, that's your ass if they catch you out with my ice on. Lil' cuz gon' act like he don't care about human life form. I ain't gotta speak much, they know that it's on site form. Nigga snakes cool, I like my shoes made of pipe thumb. Shows you an enemy, you capping and it's killing me. I'm tired of pulling up to these fake addresses, y'all DMing me. Cause y'all know what it really be, I'ma get you for what you did to me. Feds come for me, I don't speak English, I lost my memory, you shitting me? You little thieves out here not knowing how to even rob. If I did to y'all what y'all did to me, y'all niggas wouldn't even be alive.